You may have not found a piece of Eden, but this material is invaluable. Look. It says the London assassins had found a shroud. The Shroud of Eden is supposed to heal even the gravest injury. If the assassins had found something like this, surely Father would have known. There must be something we're missing. Something only we can see. These look like directions. Are you coming? Fieldwork is not really my speciality. We found a clue to a precursor object. Don't you want to follow it? Put that way, one can hardly refuse. There you are. Easy. Master assassin and pirate, yes. Here now. How much do you know about the Shroud of Eden? It's said to heal the sick. Popular myth is that it brings people back from the dead, but the assassin records say that's not true. I've never heard of one being in London, though. Do you really think Edward Kenway could have found one? He traveled extensively, so it's possible. But if he did, he kept it a closely guarded secret. But if it's true, what a find it would be. Indeed. I need to find out myself. It's surprising that you haven't already searched the Kenway house. Edward's son, Haytham, joined the Templars. When he died, the house passed on to Haytham's sister. And in all your time in London, you didn't go and have a look around? You weren't even a little curious? If there's a vault, the Templars haven't found it yet. So the Templars owned a house with assassin treasures stored in it, and never located... Easy now. I think this is it. I think you're right. Look. I'll be in the study. I don't want to be interrupted unless you have news of the lost notebook. That makes getting in a challenge. You still intend to enter? If this is a Templar stronghold, it won't get any easier. But don't worry. We'll stay well away from Miss Lucy. Shall we? Can you check over there? Of course. Has anyone seen this
What are we looking for? I'm not quite sure. Temple is not seen. Something only we can. This piano is beautiful. What an enormously subtle lizard. Clearly, Kenway had a strong sense of spectacle. of the London Assassins. Bolt holes, vaults, a hidden key. This is it. You say you heard music. There was no opening there before. It's closing! Yes, I can see that. Help me block it. We need to find another way out. There is a vacancy, should you desire to broaden your horizons. Oh, well, Evie, I... Oh, well, Evie, I will think on it. You do that. Come, let's get above ground. No, it wasn't me. Not guilty. Beg your pardon. You! You're the one! I assure you, we've never met. Is this a prize fighting ring? You bet your eyes and ears it is, my lord. My lady. The name's Robert Topping. Best bookie in all of London, at your disposal. Well, second best, but my mum says Dom's a bit of a nincompoop. Anyhow, I can show you a vast array of exciting things. From prize fights to carriage races. I think we can afford to spend a little time here. Don't worry, we won't tell the coppers. Come and see my way. Hey, what about you? You'll get no finer friend than wash bait for my friend. <laughs> I knew you'd come. Good luck in there. Not that you'll need it. Oh, 
your bets on this. This is, my God, this is Michelle Rouge's vault. <gasps> Michael Rouge's vault? It can't be. You have no idea who that is, do you? I'm the foggiest. He was an assassin. Father had one of his books. Legend says he found some fabulous treasure near Bath that drove him mad. He locked it away beneath London in a vault that could only be opened by a set of special musical boxes. Special musical boxes? Now who's mad? Try. I brought some books. I hope I'm not intruding by being here. Quite the contrary. It's nice to have the company. A herbarium? Are you collecting flowers for someone? Only myself. I'm told it's something of a British pastime. 
Did you know, they all have symbolic meanings. I had heard something of the sort. Of course you have. Unfortunately, I have no time to fill the book. I could collect some samples, if you would accept my help. I would appreciate that. Thank you, Miss Fry. I knew you'd show. My warmest welcome. It's our business to keep London in balance, monitoring shipments by road, sea, and rail. Our biggest problem, the blighters. If you could rid us of them, I'd be ever so grateful. It would make London safer. You find anything that sparkles, it's yours. I do love a bit of sparkle. Ah, Jacob, uh, Miss uh, Fry, how good to see you. Oh, have you seen Starlick's latest lies? Lies in a newspaper? What transpired from the new line you're establishing? Oh, the cables we ordered never arrived. And then we intercepted this. A message mentioning cargo seized at College Wharf. Then let's unseize it. Oh, uh, wait. Another intercepted wire contained the recipe for a powerful hallucinogenic serum. I've adapted this dart mechanism to work with your bracers. Alec, you're a genius. Well, that patently is untrue. Although I've also discovered that the serum adopts a form of a gas when subjected to heat. Just when I think you can't surpass yourself. Any news? Yeah, 
then.
Keep your wits about you, Rook. Oh, dear. Poison. I'm sure Mr. Bell will find this most interesting. Help! Oh, serves you. You're looking so tough now, are ya? Careful there, Mr. Bell. Every worthwhile endeavor is fraught with dangers, my dear friends. None more so than yours. But you have triumphed once again. How do you know? We have entered the age of communication, remember? We've already received word from Greenwich that the shipment has arrived safely, thanks to you. Have you discovered what else is in that shipment? Indeed. Um, I'm afraid that Starrick's poison has found its way onto the open market. If he believes that will stop us, he is mistaken. <laughs> 